Gossip were an indie band from Arkansas. They were formed in 1999. They split up in 2016, and they had a reunion between 2019 and 20. Uh, they were Bruce Payne on uh, several instruments, but uh, notably electric guitar. Uh, they had a drummer who was Kathy Mendoza, Mendoza uh, replaced uh, after a while by Hannah Blilly. And their lead singer is... Uh, was Beth Ditto, who uh, I'm sure I've heard of in other circumstances. Uh, so she's the singer. She's also uh, worked and still works as a model um, and uh, has had has been quite outspoken about lots of things and is quite a character, according to what I've read on uh, Wikipedia. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was their third album, and it's my first encounter with them, I think. But as I said in the introduction, I've heard of Beth Ditto, and there's something about uh, her singing that kind of rings a bell with me. So I'm not really sure if I've if I've come across them before and kind of forgotten exactly who they were, or if she just reminds me really strongly of somebody else. Uh, anyway, it's, it's indie rock. Um, Definitely kind of uh, uh, indie leaning here. And um, the thing that musically it reminds me most of is the White Stripes. And if you don't know them, then you should probably check them out. Um, basically, the the musical backing is just electric guitar and drums. Um, so there's, it's quite... Um, s simple's not quite the word, um, because they're the quite... Well played, well, the occasionally at times it is you know, pretty simple. There's bits I was listening to where it was just drums and two notes on the guitar, and they're carrying it because they, um, they make it work well with the sound. It's not, it doesn't feel empty and stripped back, it just feels gutsy. Um, and then there's uh, the vocals, and um, this is Beth Ditto. Um, she's been compared to lots of people, um, and I think that. Uh, Either I've heard her before or uh, she reminds me very strongly of something. And I'm trying to put my finger on it, but um, the closest I can get to is Bonnie Tyler. But Bonnie Tyler's got more gravel uh, and Beth Ditto's got more kind of raw energy and a uh, kind of wild feeling. To her. It's a good voice and it works really well. I don't think there are many people who could carry a band that was basically drums and guitar and voice. And she really does uh, carry it. So it works well. It's a good combination. Uh, there's huge energy. It feels <clears throat> very kind of, um, it feels like a gig, really. It kind of feels very human and uh, very, um, yeah, unpolished, but in in a good way. They make that work uh, for them. Um, there are, in some ways, it's a bit of a kind of continuum. The songs are, you know, obviously there are different songs, but they didn't strike me as, there's nothing that struck me as an atypical song um, in the album. So most of the songs kind of felt um, about the same sort of uh, level to me in terms of quality. Um, I guess Standing in the Way of Control, which is the title track, um, is one that maybe stuck out a bit above the others. Um, so... I, I reasonably enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure I would... Well, I wouldn't go out and look for a copy. I would maybe seek it out to listen to again at some point. Um, and I, I was reasonably impressed with them. Uh, certainly with the, the limitations they've got, they made a, a really good job out of it. So that's my opinion. Now, please tell me yours through the comments box. That's it for me for now. You said you